Hey, it's Nicole's Intimate Wisdom. So we'll be doing this weekly read for Scorpio for the date of the 29th of October to the 5th of November. It is now Scorpio season. So as promised, guys, I do give free birthday reads to Scorpio. And on the weekly reads, we'll do five. So the first five people to, to uh, comment their birthday in the comment section will receive a bir free birthday reading from me. And what I'll do is once you come at your birthday in the birthday section, the first five people, guys, to come at your birthday in the birthday section, I will then put my email address, which will give you the go-ahead to send me an email with your full name, your birthday, um, again, because it's email, I'm not going to know who's from, your full name, your birthday, and a picture of yourself, and um, I'll do your free birthday read for you. So, let's go ahead and get started for this weekly read for Scorpio for the 29th of October to the 5th of November. What information do we have for Scorpio? For the 29th of October to the 5th of November, what information do we have for Scorpio? For the 29th of October to the 5th of November, Scorpio, 29th of October to the 5th of November. All right. So let's go ahead and pull. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. The first four cards that I pulled off um, from you guys were swords. So this definitely is just like a very strong indication that you are in your head a lot this month. A lot. So let's go ahead and pull clarification. The clarification for Scorpio for the 29th of October to the 5th of November. Now that's my baby birthday, November 5th. <laughs> I just looked over there and seen. Okay, so let's put those there. Me clarification for Scorpio for 29th of October. That's like the whole deck right there, y'all. The 29th of October to the 5th of November. Give me clarification for Scorpio for the 29th of October to the 5th of November. Okay. Okay. All right, so. Let's see what our underlying energy is. The underlying energy is the Three of Cups. There may be a need for you guys to get out and have some fun. Um, this, yeah, there's a definite need for you guys to release, have some fun. Maybe you guys are being cooped up, stressed out about situations that you can't control right now. And this is, hold on one second, y'all. My kid, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> y'all, he literally came out the bathroom to tell me his foot hit the wall while he, my bathroom's back here. So he came out here to tell me that his foot hit the wall. We're going to take a bath, you know? <laughs> All right, so Sunday, I see you guys um, maybe receiving some challenging information. Um, there may be delays or changes to plan, or someone may be being very honest with you about something. If this could be also someone that's younger than you coming to you telling you something. This could be someone sending messages, but they're going to be honest, and it may be kind of brutal. And it probably will not be um, a very uh, pleasant experience for you because I pulled the Ten of Swords. So maybe you feel like betrayed by this person. Um, this could be someone that you've known for a while. Um, this could also be you finding out information that may put a delay or a damper on some plans that you, or something that you had planned. Um, we also got the Star card. So this represents making long-term commitments. This could have something to do with uh, a relationship. This could have something to do with someone that you expect more out of. And they could be telling you the truth. Like I said with this Ace of Swords, this could be finding out the truth, gaining clarity on a situation. This is Sunday. Monday, we got the Eight of Swords. So this is still on your mind come Monday because it's like you're feeling trapped in a situation. Maybe for some of you guys in the monthly read, I saw that some of you guys um, were having employment issues. Maybe something happened at work and it's got you stressed out. Because I got the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So this is being stressed out about something. Feeling trapped, lacking self-confidence, um, focusing on negative thoughts, and being afraid to take action with something. Tuesday, we got the Ten of Swords. So this is kind of, you're kind of getting over it. You're starting to move forward. Something is going to come about um, Tuesday that's going to require your attention. And that's going to kind of um, take some of that attention off of this situation and kind of relieve some of that um, the stress. By Wednesday, whatever it is, you're going to be cutting it out. You're going to be like, okay, well... I have to move on from this. I got to move forward. Um, you're going to be releasing those fears. You're going to be releasing that negativity. You're going to be seeing things in a, from a different perspective and seeing things in a new light. Um, this could also be you clearing away things that no longer serve you and listening to your intuition of what is good for you and what is not. 
come Thursday, we got the Four of Cups. So this is like discontentment, boredom. This may be you needing to open your eyes to the possibility or this could be you getting a second chance at something and maybe you're starting to see the positives of a situation and kind of opening yourself up and opening your heart up to a situation. Maybe this could possibly have something to do with a job. All right, come Friday, we got the Four of Pentacles. So this is you being very guarded, especially with this Queen of Cups. This may be you being very guarded and you not... Um, not making time for the people around you. This could be you closing yourself off, okay? This could definitely be you closing yourself off, especially with the script, Three of Cups. Maybe someone's going to invite you out. Come Friday, you're just going to be like, no, I'm not up to it. So you're going to close yourself out, and you're not going to be open to um, being around people or, or just being out, period. I do see you doing a lot of thinking um, Saturday, doing a lot of, you know, reevaluating especially with this hierophant this is going within this is searching for the answers within and with this queen of pentacles you're thinking about your foundation um like i said you may not be making time for those around you but you're trying to deal with challenges right now you're trying to take a sensible approach to deal with these challenges so saturday i do see you doing, doing a lot of self-evaluating trying to figure out exactly what it is you need to do by Sunday, I do see you having more focus. You ready to take the lead. You communicating with the vision, being a leader, and taking steps toward whatever goal this is. With the Eight of Wands, this is quick movement, especially with this Prince of Cups. This is quick movement coming in. This is you figuring out exactly what you want and actually pushing forward with it. This could also be you going within and feeling exactly what is pushing you or what put it like this this is you going within and actually having some type of self actualization on what you want to do and actually moving with that all right so what we're going to do for this we're going to pull for the weekly read we're going to pull uh, some psychic tarot cards and what I, what I want you to do is think of a question and my psychic tarot cards will give you the answer that you need please reach out to those that are watching and have answered the question that they need all right we got emotional loss some of you guys are losing something and i do see that with the page of swords some of you guys are finding out some information some of you guys and this information at the beginning of the week is going to have you feeling very discontent very unhappy about a situation some of you guys are going to be feeling like someone made a fool of you okay so let's see give me one more we got one more guys think of another question we're only going to do two <laughs> another question We got awareness so some of you guys need to make yourself aware of those people around you there may be some conflict that you're gonna have to do it make sure that you're aware of people's motives and aware of people's um, choices and decisions in regards to you um, for the week of the for the week of October the 29th through the November the 5th so this is all I have for Scorpios um, for your weekly read guys stay tuned you got your monthly read you have a spiritual guidance read you have a birthday read and you have a love couples and love singles read so please stay tuned I also do daily reads for you guys and if you pay attention to my daily reads I have daily deals every day so pay attention to those just to give you a little heads up Mondays we have 50% off days Tuesday we got two dollar on um, Tuesdays where you get one question for two dollars so this is all I got for my Scorpios um Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. If you have not subscribed, please hit that button. If you are still watching, hopefully you are. Um, if you guys would like to donate to my channel, you can do so through PayPal. My link to PayPal is paypal.me slash intimate wisdom. And uh, that's all I got. So stay tuned for your other readings and y'all have a good night.